Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog or so with Locked In with the Ligans. Sorry there's a glare on my glasses. I don't know how to fix that. So sorry y'all dealing with the glare but let me like focus the camera. Jeez. <laughs> but hello and good morning and welcome to another vlog or so with Locked In with the Ligans. I'm Mariah and welcome back to the Ligans Family YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our content and don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Locked In with the Ligans which I will link below this video. So I wanted to do this video today because the last video that I posted, um, I was talking, well, the last video pertaining to the doctoral degree, I was talking about just getting accepted and I kind of walked you all, walked you all through the process that I was kind of going through trying to find out if I was in or not. And it was like stressful. <laughs> So I wanted to come back and definitely just say thank you and just show my gratitude to so many of you that have supported me and just been so, so helpful and like rooting for me. I am so blessed and just so thankful to my family, uh, primarily my mom, <laughs> that has been rooting me on. Um, I also have a really supportive aunt and uncle. Um, my uncle Darl and Sean who are very much so supportive of anything I have going on um, So I you know those individuals I just really really appreciate just always rooting me on and also Travis Liggins family they have been incredible they're always so supportive um, you know they've been so supportive of Travis and myself with anything that we do always supportive with the kids so I definitely want to shout them out for being just in our corner you know and then there's so many of my friends like colleagues and people that we know that are pursuing doctoral degrees that have given so much so me so much amazing advice on just getting started their process selecting schools just everything they have just been amazing I also have a really great professional mentor that I've been working with and she has just been everything like the fact that I, I just met her two years ago I don't know how I like went on professionally without her prior to that like she has really helped provide like organization to my career and organization to my thoughts and just been very very helpful and she know who she is so <laughs> I will she's gonna be a part of my tribe forever I mean she's like my forever person professionally I mean she's just amazing so I appreciate my professional mentor she's been awesome and I appreciate all of you all too out there in the cyber world for your positive support on our YouTube channel on our Instagram positive support with anything we got going on and just sharing your stories with us we truly truly appreciate it seriously so um, I wanted to make this video because and I'm wearing <laughs> this is Travis sweater so when you see this video you like you wearing my sweater this is his sweater it's the University of West Georgia I'll show y'all <laughs> University of West Georgia sweater because now I'm officially a student so since the last time I talked to y'all about what I had going on uh, the acceptance I have went ahead and confirmed my attendance so now it's like official official <laughs> that I will be attending the University of West Georgia in August of 2023 pursuing a doctoral degree in higher education and administration Woo! it's <laughs> a mouthful right that's like when I tell people when they say like well what did you get your master's degree in it's a mouthful it is I got my master's degree in higher education with a concentration in leadership for student success I feel like I have to like rehearse it <laughs> but yeah so I'm like officially going to be a student there Another crazy thing that happened to me, and I'm being super transparent with you all on what's going on with me career-wise and education. Over the past two weeks, I have had three mid-level positions in higher education all reach out to me, and I have made it very far in the process for all of them. So at this point, I'm actually just waiting on a phone call for any of the three to see if I was selected to move up higher in a mid-level position in higher education. And it's amazing, you know, to like be in this space. I think about myself just 
I don't know, just like that academic advisor that just started her career. But it's amazing to look at like the progression that I've made over the past six years in the field of higher education because I've worked in academic advisor, but I've never just been an academic advisor. Like I've been on so many professional committees. I have done so much programming in a whole nother department. I've taught for six years. I have done so much. Um, I'm advising so many different organizations. Like I've kind of immersed myself in a lot of different departments. And that honestly really helped me get to that point of having multiple departments be interested in me because of the professional networking connections that I took lead on meeting. I also would say I did take the initiative to volunteer in other departments to help them do a lot of different tasks. Whenever they called for volunteers, I was there. Um, I collaborated with a lot of different departments over the summer when I put on like all of my workshops over the summer. I collaborated with a lot of people and that really helped me. And I am just so blessed. So much gratitude goes out to the most high for sure for just guiding me to be in this space um, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, um, you know, just to be physically, to be where I'm at right now. I'm just so blessed. Travis has been my biggest cheerleader and I'm his biggest cheerleader too because in the field of higher education, it can be difficult to move up. It can be difficult to, you know, kind of move around the way you want. So just to have that kind of opportunity, like mid-level roles and have multiple ones in one, in two weeks, um, it's, it's amazing and I'm just in a space to where I'm so happy that I can build on what I have accomplished and I just want to encourage others that's working in higher education that whatever your job is that you have it actually pays to do more if you can. So meaning like I worked in advising, my job is to pretty much help students graduate from their respective programs, help them get connected with internships, um, help them get accepted into medical school, dental school, any health profession school. You know, that's my core of my job. But I went above and beyond that and made so many connections helping other departments do other things that once it got to the point to where I found positions that I was interested in, I was able to apply and Pretty much based off of people knowing me and knowing my work and collaborating with them in the past, I felt like that truly helped me. And the reason why I know it helped me is because one of the roles I didn't even apply for, I was just called and told, hey, we would like you to be in our department and put your application in. So <laughs> and it was amazing. It's an honor. And so I feel like my doctoral degree will really help, obviously, with my education. So much that I'm going to learn from the program, I'm going to apply to whatever position that I'm in. And I've just been very thankful you know just to be in this space and also to have a partner like Travis that's like on this journey with me and he's also pursuing opportunities within his own right at his own pace um, as they make sense for him and so um, it's, it's been a blessing and I'm, I'm so so thankful so what's coming up pertaining to this doctoral degree so I have officially confirmed my attendance so I will be attending I submitted that online there was this form I had to complete to confirm my attendance so I had to get that sent in um, there will be an orientation that's going to happen. And of course I will vlog about that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's going to be virtual, but I can't confirm it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be virtual based off of like the people that I know that have done the program before Travis being one of them. Then we have a friend, James, you all know James and DeAndre. <laughs> I, I always talk about them. Uh, they're our really good friends. Um, and, um, uh, his orientation was online so I, it's an all online program so I would assume that the orientation will be online um, and I think that's gonna be sometime this summer I don't officially have the date just yet but I'm sure it'll come soon um, and let's see what happens oh yes another thing that's happening is we are going on a professional trip together Travis and I so we are going to a really big professional conference the exciting piece about that is so many things. We are attending workshops that are geared towards so many things that Travis and I are interested in in higher education, going on these professional conferences. Uh, we'll be networking with a lot of people professionally. And another really positive about it is they have a lot of doctoral seminars. They have writing um symposiums that are seminars they have workshops for doctoral students networking and connections for doctoral students like they got so much for doctoral students and also other individuals that are not pursuing a doctorate degree but just the kind of support they have for advancing your education I am so excited about that so I signed up for almost all of them <laughs> and Travis did too and so we are going to be attending some of those sessions and obviously I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can because everything that we learn and we gather from this professional conference 
conference is going to be key to what we can apply in our programs. Um, um, also, while we're there, it's going to turn into a little bit of a vacation because we won't have the kids. They'll actually be with my mom. So it'll be fun, too, um, to just go to the conference. It's going to be up north. It's going to be in Boston. So you all are going to see vlogs from Boston. It'll be our very first time going to Boston. Never been. Um, and you'll see vlogs of us, like, going on these professional conferences, networking and stuff. But then also having some fun time together for him, for him and I. Um, so that's coming. And, you know, my goal is, you know, we're going to present at uh, conferences together at some point in our career. I think that's going to be a whole lot of fun. Um, I'm presenting at my first regional conference in May, so we'll be going to Tampa <laughs> right after. <laughs> and we are taking the kids on that one, so it'll be like a little trip for them. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, so, you know, taking these next steps career-wise and educationally, I will tell you this year I am so excited. And I'm welcoming all of the changes, all of the newness. You know, sometimes the most most high will just throw opportunity at you and push you out of your comfort zone and that's basically what's happening with me like I wasn't just comfortable uh, where I was but I did tell Travis at the beginning of the year in January I actually told him I was like this will be my last year of advising like I said that and it's crazy that I manifested that and it truly truly happened and so I'm just blessed I'm thankful so you know just a recap so we'll be going to the conference and I'll be vlogging about a lot of doctoral things that we do there and networking professionally um, when I looked online for like vlogs on higher education it was hard to find so I'm hoping this provides some content then like a snippet in the higher ed world and then um, I'll be going to orientation, which will be virtual, and then the startup will be in August. But obviously, I'm going to be vlogging stuff and my thoughts and everything before it even hits. So I'm just really, really thankful. So I want to tell you all, thank you all so much. If you've ever pursued any type of degree like this, please comment below and let me know your thoughts on your process and how you got started with everything, because obviously, I'm trying to build a tribe. Oh, another positive, too, is at my job, I've been added to a Teams, um, which is like a group online for doctoral students and it has been great too just to be in that so I can go to like you know meetups with people that's in programs similar to mine or in the same program and um, stuff like that support groups is very much so going to be helpful so all right so I just want to say thank y'all and I want to just provide a quick update of what comes next because I realized I posted the video of like oh I got in and then it's like boop, what happens next so I wanted to do what's next so that way you all can kind of hear what's going on and what we got coming up. And um, I look forward to actually you all seeing those vlogs from Boston that's going to also come out. I don't know if this video is going to come up, go up before the Boston vlogs. I think it will. So um, this will probably go up before our Boston vlogs. And then after that, you all will see all our vlogs from Boston. So I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram. All right. I'll see y'all. Bye.